Orpheus was the son of Apollo, the Greek god of music and poetry. Eurydice was a beautiful nymph. Their tragic love story would tell the tale of losing someone you love and having this opportunity to get them back if you can follow one simple rule that Orpheus did. Apollo is the Greek god of music and poetry. He is most famously known for playing the lyre, a musical instrument made of strings and tortoise shell. Apollo gave his son a lyre and taught him how to play. Orpheus quickly learned how to play and could play more beautiful than his father Apollo. Wherever Orpheus would play his lyre, objects would come to life and beings would be entranced by the music. Orpheus had a true talent for playing the music. One day Orpheus was in woods playing the lyre that his father had given him when he noticed a beautiful wood nymph named Eurydice. Eurydice had heard Orpheus playing the lyre and she was drawn to this beautiful music. Likewise, Orpheus was drawn to the beauty of Eurydice. It was love at first sight for them. Orpheus and Eurydice were madly in love and spending all their time together. So they got married. They had a beautiful ceremony with a festive celebration afterwards. Hemenius, the god of marriage who blessed their matrimony, warned Orpheus and Eurydice that the harmony of their marriage would not last long. Well, that's not something one could be blessed with in a marriage, but this is what they got. However, Orpheus and Eurydice were in love, and nothing seemed to be less than perfect in their relationship. Eurydice was a beautiful nymph, and her beauty was apparent to more than just Orpheus. A shepherd named Aristaeus had noticed Eurydice's beauty and wanted her for himself. So he hid in the bushes and waited for her. He planned to kill Orpheus. Well, not a good thing, but he planned to kill Orpheus and take Eurydice as his own. As Eurydice and Orpheus neared, Aristaeus jumped out but was unable to kill Orpheus. Instead, Orpheus grabbed Eurydice and they began to run. They began running through the woods away from Aristaeus. As they ran, Aristaeus chased them. Orpheus held Eurydice's hand as they ran through the woods until he felt her fall and slip out of her hands. When he turned around, Orpheus saw Eurydice had stepped on a venomous snake that had bitten her. She was dying and Orpheus was unable to save her. Eurydice died in the woods from a venomous snake, from a venomous snake bite and descended to the underworld. Very sad. Orpheus was not the same person. He was after Eurydice died. He no longer enjoyed playing the lyre and he no longer enjoyed life. Orpheus wanted Eurydice back and he did the only thing he knew. He asked his father for help. Orpheus asked Apollo to help him go into the underworld and retrieve his wife. Apollo went to Hades, the god of underworld, and told him that Orpheus wanted to visit him to request the return of his wife, Eurydice. With his lyre in his hand, Orpheus made his way into the underworld and found Hades. Orpheus played his lyre and sang to Hades and those in the underworld to hear. Everyone in the underworld was moved by the beautiful song that Orpheus played for his wife. Hades agreed at last to let Orpheus take his wife to the upper world. But there was one condition. Definitely, it has to be. Orpheus had to lead Eurydice out of the underworld and could not look back at her for any reason. Hades told Orpheus that he could look at Eurydice when she finally entered the light of the upper world. But he could not look at her while she was in the dark in the underworld. Hades warned that if Orpheus turned and looked at Eurydice while she was still in the dark, she would be condemned to the underworld 
forever. A condition that could be followed, right? Well, see what Orpheus did. Orpheus was overjoyed that his plan had worked and he began leading Eurydice out of the underworld. As they were nearing to the upper world, Orpheus could hear the land of leaving above him and could not contain the excitement. Orpheus finally entered the light in the upper world and turned around to embrace his wife, but she had not emerged from the underworld. That is where Orpheus went wrong. She was still in the dark when Orpheus turned around to hug her. At that moment, Eurydice was condemned to the underworld forever. One could argue that the overriding moral lesson one learns from the story of Orpheus and Eurydice is that there is a moral law. There is a moral law higher than ourselves. All form of morality entail subjecting ourselves to a set of rules that we must follow for the good of ourselves and others. The moral of Orpheus and Eurydice is to be patient and keep one's faith. Orpheus gives in to the temptation to look because he is impatient and doesn't really believe Eurydice is behind him. Or probably he couldn't wait. That would be the most possible and probable reason. He wanted to do what he wanted to do. Because of his failure to be patient and faithful, Eurydice is returned to the underworld forever. Also, we see Orpheus is tested in this story. On the contrary, if we see the story in whole, he has every reason not to trust because he lost his wife, Eurydice, to a snake bite on the wedding night itself. That would shake anyone's faith in love, in fate, or even in the gods. Orpheus has the talent with music to charm his way into the underworld, but that is not enough. He has to show he has the fortitude not once to glance back and see if his beloved Eurydice is truly behind him. He holds strong until the very end when he takes one quick glimpse back to make sure she is behind him as he steps out of Hades. That moment when his trust wavers his undoing. To have love, we must have trust. To reach your goal well, you need to have patience. Trust is not easy, but it is necessary to a loving relationship. None of us are going to ever be in Orpheus' shoes in terms of a trip to a literal underworld, but most of us will have to face a moment of hell where our love is tested and where only trust will enable it to survive. Hope you love the story from Greek mythology. And if you did, do like this video, share this video with your friends or on your status and leave your comments below. Thank you again.